ladies and gentlemen, and my dear student friends, and their respected parents. Today is a great day for all of us, particularly I am really happy and delighted to be among you all at the Indian Maritime University again for the eighth convocation. I am really grateful to our most respected Honorable President of India for taking time away from your very hectic schedule and for gracing this occasion with your august presence. At the outset, let me extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the candidates who have received their degrees today and also to their proud parents. This is a turning point in your life and would be especially memorable since you have been awarded the degree by none other than the Honorable President of India, Srimati Durpudir Murmuji. All of you who are <coughs> passing out today are indeed very lucky. I am confidently saying so because under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, we are now passing through Amrit Kal. This is going to be an era of 25 golden years from 22 to, to, to 2047 of scintillating progress, of remarkable achievement, of immense glory, of spectacular, inclusive and sustainable growth. By the time our nation celebrates its 100 years of independence, there will be countless opportunities in diverse arenas for the youth of this great nation like you to study, work and excel. During the past decades, our nation has started its journey on this exceptionally vibrant phase of growth and development. We have remained steadfastly committed to the guiding principle of reform, reform and transform, creating a dynamic shift in India's socio-economic landscape. From the 10th largest economy in the world in 2014, India has grown swiftly in just nine years to become the fifth largest economy and very soon will be the third largest economy in the world. We are not only growing bigger, but we are also now the fastest growing major economy in the world. The entire world witnessed the strength of India's scientific spirit, technology and temperament by our successful moon landing. The G20 presidency under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister is a historic milestone in India's journey towards donning the mantle of a global leader. The launch of the Biofuels Alliance during this summit was an initiative of India as the G20 share for the maritime sector. Honorable Prime Minister's vision of transformation through transportation has seen radical growth in the coastal and inland waterways. Inland waterways sector witnessed a stupendous growth of 1,700% in cargo movement during the last nine years. Similarly, the coastal cargo movement has also shown a massive jump of over 104% since 2014. In just seven years, our Honorable Prime Minister's transformative initiative, Sagarmala, has grown and 809 project worth investment of rupees 5.6 lakhs crore have been identified for implementation by 2035, of which 228 projects worth of rupees 1.22 lakhs crore have already been completed. Our Honorable Prime Minister recently launched the Maritime Amrit Kal Vision 2047, which starts a developmental roadmap with a time-bound implementation plan on various parameters for India to strive towards becoming a global maritime hub. Our major ports are today witnessing double-digit annual growth and as per the recent World Bank Logistic Performance Index reports on various port performance indicators, we fare much better than the advanced countries such as Canada, Australia, USA and Germany. 
the recently concluded highly successful third edition of Global Maritime India Summit 2023 marks another milestone in India's vibrant maritime ecosystem. It attracted an investment of more than 10 lakhs crore, highlighting the immense potential which lies in our maritime sector. Our nation is on the road to create many more milestones of success. Our goods tax exports last year passed a historic US $420 billion and this year we are aiming even higher. You, the youth of this nation, have immense opportunities to contribute towards strengthening our economy through contribution to maritime trade and commerce. Our government is committed to investing in world-class training program to develop the skill and competencies of our seafarers to ensure preparedness to navigate the ever-changing maritime environment. The Maritime India Vision 2030 of the Ministry of Port Shipping Waterways envisages India becoming a top seafaring nation with world-class education, training and research. India during the last decades has achieved a growth of 121% increase in contributing to the global seafaring force. To cater to the changing demand, India needs to enhance maritime research and education in areas like marine geology, environmental science, and renewable energy, etc. I am heartened to see that the university has taken steps to increase research in the maritime sector. I urge you to think like entrepreneurs and to work towards becoming a job creator instead of job seeker. As ambassador of nation, this prestigious university, you must all strive to make our nation and I am you proud. I wish you all again a bright future ahead. Thank you. Jai Hind Nandri.